What's good, Team Exclusive, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the England Road to Glory. Here we are, once again, back on the account, preparing to open up another pack full of disappointment, no doubt. But yeah, here we are, back on the account. Um, like, it's crazy because we're reaching our peak with the England squad. If I quickly show you where we are, I mean, there's literally nothing else we can do with uh, with this squad. Is this the right one? I think it is. It's one of the right ones anyway. But yeah, it's, it's crazy. We did give up Mason Mount for a uh, certain SBC. Should be showing off in a moment. We don't use them anymore. There's literally no point holding on to cards if you don't use them at this stage in FIFA. It's, it's August, man. It's, all, it's August. But yeah, like... There's no, there's literally no position I think that could really be upgraded besides, besides Prime Icon Moments, Sol, not Sol Campbell, Rio Ferdinand. I mean, we do have Prime Icon Moments, Sol Campbell, but Rio Ferdinand would be the, he would be the daddy, wouldn't he? He'd just be the goat sent back. Um, but like, besides that, there's literally nobody. I mean, we've got Chilwell, Smalling, Phillips, Foden, Jones. I'm still unsure about Jones or Decky Rice. I do like Decky Rice. I think he's slightly better. And also got Wamba Saka. Got Saka, Eddie and Ketia, and Jackie Boy. So it's just an insane team that we've built up over this series. And I, I just, I'm just so amazed, really, that we've actually managed to pick up this many English good players. Like when I started it, I thought, oh, you know, it, we might get a few, but. To get a whole team worth of special card England players is outstanding, in my opinion. And to be honest, they're, they are the best. I think maybe Jaden Sancho, what if, would be slightly better. But hey, I'll walk out. Hey, it was the Summer Stars. Go on, be Ronaldo. Uh, never mind, it's Mela. Hey, it was good. it's good fodder, though. Hey, you do love to see it. Out of just a random pack, you don't mind it at all. You don't mind it at all. He does go for a little bit as well. Let's go for a little bit. Goes for about 30k. It's not all that impressive, but we'll keep hold of him. Um, you don't mind it at all. You do not mind it. What is that? A premium gold pack? Just pack Mailer? Anyway, here's what we're actually really here for. Uh, the 91 times 5 rated players from Footy Team 3. Now, we did this on the Xbox Road to Glory, which if you haven't seen, check it out. It'll be the previous video, I'm pretty sure. Um, and if I'm honest, it was a little bit underwhelming. Our face, well, I'm not going to spoil it, but we got five team of the seasons. They were, I mean, they weren't bad. Some of them fit the team. Some of them you know, went straight into the team. Uh, some we just used for just next the next SBC. But um, yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, Footy's Team 3 is more than just team of the season. So I was really kind of expecting a little bit more. But it is 91 plus. So I suppose a lot of the 91 pluses are team of the season. So it is what it is. Either way, let's crack it open. Come on hands together for some EA pack luck. Team of the season to start. I'm hoping there can be a Summer Stars. Oh, my heart. I was, I was hoping for the Cam, man. Cam, PSG, Neymar Zito. What are we saying? Can there be something else behind it? Ew. Oh, I thought it was Ronaldo. I don't know why I thought it was Ronaldo. I don't know why I thought he'd be second, but I thought it was... Fuck's sake. Anyway, we actually see something else than... Um... Team of the season, which is really nice. You do love to see it. Casemiro, Benega, Sanchez, Chiesa. Chiesa. He looks very, very good as well. But he is Italian, so, you know, yikes. And then Lapadula. Lapadula. He looks really good, to be fair. Really, really good. Sanchez, who we gave up to complete this SPC, which is a little bit fucking annoying, but whatever. All right, so to finish, we are going to do an 88 plus player pick. These are horrible value. But why not? We'll see what we get. Come on, English players. What we 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 actually just do we just pack? Do we just get messy? Okay, so here we go for part two of the England Road to Glory again. I recorded the first bit way in advance, so I've literally no idea what's going on. Either way, before we get into the main part of today's episode, which of course will be the new player into the squad, which you probably can already guess who that's going to be via the title. But also wanted to do a few of these eighty-two pluses because. You know, there's a chance we could still get Foden. I think footies ends on Friday, so a couple of days away. So might as well do them now. And also, if, if we do pick up a Foden, we can also obviously, as I mentioned a million times before, we can sell our current one. So, and also, I want to try and do the N'Golo Kante. So anything would be very, very welcome, of course. 
saved from being a complete stinker that was. We haven't done some of these for a while, so... Okay. Alright. These better not be terrible, because these took me fucking ages to make. Wow, really? 82 and 283s. I mean, I guess it's okay. Anything's better than just 382s. I mean, that's not terrible. Pazvetter, it's not really that helpful, because Dutch and whatever, but come on. Should be Arsenal. Should be Arsenal, that's what I'm saying. He, he is an Arsenal player now, but um, Fernandinho, I guess, is okay. These haven't been very good, to be honest. I was really expecting um, them to be a little bit a little bit better, but I guess it, it's 82 plus, isn't it? You, you get what you get, and you get what you get. Holy shit. Um, come on, big boy. Big boy, Summer Stars, team of the season, 85 Mullen. We're just getting all the stinker team of the season. Literally off-league stinkers. McLaren. Holy shit. I mean, it's ironic, isn't it, that he's rapid and called McLaren. Jesus. Last one. No, stinker. And there we go. So we have completed the 99 rated Ante. I mean, as cards go, to be fair, as cards go... Looks pretty average. I'm actually going to put Kante. Let's get Kante out. I mean, it's no relevance to the actual series itself. No relevance to the series. We also completed the, the Nani as well. 95, potentially. Going up to 97. I presume they're playing today because the SBC ends today on the 25th when you're may or no, probably not watching this, actually. But, um, yeah. Hopefully he goes up to 97. 99 dribbling. 98. No. 88 physical. 97 passing, 97 shooting, and 98 pace. I mean, basically 99 pace. It just, it's going to be a crazy, crazy good card. End of the day. Uh, who am I looking for? So, Kante goes on the bench. We're going to also stick our... Actually, no, we won't. We won't put him on the bench uh, and get rid of... Actually, we can. Because we can get rid of Reach and put Orba on the bench. And we have a very special man to add into the squad today. So... Am I going to be playing with this squad? Yeah, we'll, we'll use this. Uh, we'll use this squad. And like I say, we've got a very special man to add into the squad today. We, of course, have the 95 footies Messi Lingard. And I do have to say, right, like, you actually can't see it, but there we go. So, like, crazy, insanely good card. Like, very similar to the Kante, actually, in, in some retrospect. If we uh, just put him there, um, I mean... I mean, you look at those two cards, and obviously Kante is a CDM, and he's got better defence, but, like, actually you can't see anything. So, look how similar these cards are. It's actually insane. Obviously, besides the defence and physicals, whereas Messi Lingard obviously trumps him for shooting, but, like, crazy. Anyway, yes, he's got 99 dribbling, basically, besides, what has he got? Besides ball control and a little bit of composure, but he's insane. Passing, besides long passing, is, is nutty. Shooting is nutty as well. And perfect pace. 96 pace. His defense is actually quite good. You could probably play him as a CDM, to be fair. He's got 87 defensive awareness. And 81 strength and 96 aggression. So, he's actually pretty good, to be honest. It's actually pretty good. But, how does he stack up to 98 Foden? So, Foden also got 99 dribbling. He's got 97 passing. But... Besides, they're actually almost identical, which is insane to say, really. So, I can't imagine he's going to be too different from Foden, but he goes in there. He's one of my favourite players from the year anyway, because using his, uh, his um, what do you call it, his player of the month was actually incredibly good for an 87. Um, like, he had insane free kicks, as I demonstrated. And he's just an all-round bit of a beast. But yeah, he goes in there with a 95 rating. I can't wait to bang a free kick in with this dude. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, that's a, that's a team and a half. 99s across the board, basically. 99 Messi. 99 Neymar. But yeah. It's also crazy how slow the uh, loading screens are on PC. And also, my camera seems way too far out. But yeah, we take it, don't we? Oh, come on, man. Give it to the midfielder at least. I genuinely don't know how that's gone in the back of the net, to be honest. That's nuts. Shit. Just going to put it in the back of the net. Like, it's just genuinely just nothing I can do at this point. I just can't keep up with this with the players. Oh. 
Okay, I mean, I... No, no idea. No idea, to be honest. Let's go. Eddie and Ketia put it in the back of the net. I was actually genuinely surprised that it actually went in because I didn't ask for a uh, for a for a freight shot, but it all worked out. All's well that ends well, isn't it? All's well that ends well. Oh, Messi's away. Messi Lingard, let's go on his debut. You love to see it. What a banger, man. What an absolute banger of a shot. And what a card. This is actually insane. Oh, shit. I've actually been fully rinsed there, haven't I? Fair enough, I guess. Fair enough. I mean, he's not going to do anything but sweat it across the face of goal, isn't he? So, you love to see it. Got no balls, thing. That's why it is. Tavernier. <laughs> go on, Lingard. Please, let's go. Messi Lingard gets two on his debut. Again, not that it matters, unfortunately, but... It is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. So. What a great tackle that is. Smalling, though. Smalling a bit of a beast, so. Hey, you don't mind it. How the fuck is this still going? Uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, our first game, unfortunately, is a big L. I would say it was a big L, actually. It was, a, it was just a bit of an L. I got completely destroyed by that fucking Neymar. That 99 Neymar was so difficult to handle. Um, and he, he knew how to use him quite well. So, fair enough, I guess. Fair enough. All right, so, here we go. Game number two. It's another, it's another Neymar. I'm going to get fucking owned again. Oh, Eddie. Let's go. That was a really weird goal. I'll skip it. Really weird goal. Like, it just rebounds everywhere, man. I just can't deal with it. That's a great ball from Messi Lingard to Eddie and Ketia. The link up play. My God, I'm telling you, Messi Lingard as a striker is next level. <laughs> My days, man. What a ball that was. That was sensational. Hey, you do love to see it, though. Shit. Oh, thank God he passed it. Oh, never mind. I fucked up, no. Oh, Messi Lingard, man, doing bits. Absolutely skinning uh, Maldini. You do love to see it. Come on, big head by somebody. Big head, bang. What was that? Okay. I mean, I mean, just what is that, man? Like, actually, what is that? Like, nine. How can Tavernier not catch up with 99 pace Bambo, who's got the ball? Like, actually ridiculous. Oh, that is so nice. Eddie and Ketia, please finish it, man. Please, somebody. Oh, my God. Go on, Messi. Oh, my God. Messi Lingard absolutely rinses the entire defence and puts it in the back of the net. You do love to see it. How he got that ball through, only science will tell you because nobody knows. Please, not anybody but Smalling. Fuck off. Hey, whatever. You know, it is what it is, isn't it? It's FIFA 21. We, I shouldn't be surprised at this point, but I still am. And I'm still, I'm still annoyed when it happens, man. I just don't get it. I just don't get, like, how when you make a defensive tackle that it just rebounds and it perfectly falls into the place of the attack. Whatever, whatever. We can only pray and hope that that kind of shit is, I wouldn't say eradicated, but lessened to a massive degree in FIFA 22. And uh, third game today. I mean, I might as well just get a gun and fucking come on, man. Like, generally, what is actually happening at this point? I generally don't know what's going on. Oh, Eddie... Come on, let's go. Eddie and Ketia smashes it into the back of the net. Um, this is another really weird game. I mean, he's quite good, to be fair. It's all right, to be fair. But he, he seems to throw, like, everybody at the ball immediately uh, or at the attack when he's when he's on the attack. So I don't, I don't really know what's happening, to be honest. I just feel like I'm being abused by Messi this entire game or entire episode. I think, definitely, if I had learned to use a lot more of the OP, like, meta skill moves, like the fake shot move, kind of whatever you call it, um, probably could be winning a lot more games, to be fair, but I just, I just can't be bothered to play like that, in all fairness. Just can't be bothered to play like that. And that's where I think FIFA falls down, especially this year, is you can't, 
you can't play like multiple different ways. I think there's really only realistically one or two different ways of playing. So, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? Damn. It's a good goal, to be fair. I mean, it's, it's probably been coming, but like, ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Don't know why, uh, don't know why you just stopped there, but we'll, we'll take it. Come on, big heads. Decky Rice. Bang. There you go. Finally. Finally, Decky Rice has actually scored a header. It's only taken him about six fucking games. Foden! There we go. Big boy, Philly Foden. Puts in the back net. I mean, it, that thing that I figured out one weakness of this guy. It's just patience. Like, you know, just patient play. Just, I don't know, just draw his defense out and all that kind of stuff. It's classic. Classic kind of FIFA. But, you know, it works, doesn't it? Sergio Ramos is not quicker than Foden. That's a given. And Eddie finishes it off. Let's go. There we go. That should be game over. My God. My God. Feels good, man. <laughs> Feels good to finally... Go on, we'll watch this. Messi Lingard will tackle Messi. Told you. See? There you go. Smashed it. Oh, no. What a save by Soul. Big boy Soul. Deku Rice is there to clean up, man. You do love to see it. And... Come on, Foden. Oh, my God. What a strike by Philly Foden. What a run from the from the left-back position. The fucking... My God. Absolutely destroys Sergio Ramos. That <laughs> just sits him on his ass. You love to see it. Green times it. Bangs it in the back of the net. I mean, you you love to see it. That's got to be. We ain't got many more of these episodes left, so we've got to we've got to fit them in where we can. But what a what a fucking free kick by Ted. Hey, wanted to watch that. Yeah, he lost his head at the end. Obviously, he went full full out ultra attacking, even though he was ultra attacking the entire game. But he literally just threw his entire defense at at the attack to try and get some goals, and unfortunately, kind of backfired. If I'm honest, kind of backfired. But Eddie with two. Philly Foden with with two. Jesse Lingard didn't really get didn't really get a look in this time, unfortunately. Um, but Smith Rowe with two assists. Eddie with one. I do want to have a look at that uh, that free kick though. That was that was pretty special, to be honest. Tavernier doesn't score many. Doesn't score many. But what a goal! Whoops. Uh, that perfectly green timed as well. Bang. I mean, I mean, you've got to respect the effort, haven't you? You've got to respect him trying to get his leg up that high and realising, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, Renato Sanchez and Alex, uh, Alex Tellers just fucking turn away and let the ball go straight past. And the goalkeeper's like, nah, I'm, I'm fucked, mate. Nah, I'm fucked. <laughs> nah, I'm fucked. And it goes, hits the post and goes straight in. That was one hell of a free kick, but I still... You've got to, you've got to give some respect to, who is this? Paredes? A exclusive nose ball, Paredes. You've got to give respect to that. Trying to get, his, he's never going to get his leg up that high unless he detaches his fucking leg. See, this is the problem, right? And I've said this before with the season. I don't want to keep going on about the season, season thing. But like that 93 Rodrigo, okay. At the time when they released the season, which was like three weeks ago or two weeks ago, however long it was, uh, he was actually quite an appealing card to get. But then you look at. You know, that. There you go. Instantly better. So, why they don't scale the... Ah, oh, never mind. I don't know. Why they don't scale them for the end of the season, not for when they release the season? Baffling. Baffling. But, hey, uh, what are we saying? What are the chances? What are the chances of getting a fucking walkout or anything good out of these is next to none? But, anyway, so, I think that concludes another episode of the England Road to Glory. Um... I'm probably going to do one more episode of these just because I'm going to wait to the end of footies um, and then potentially see what they're going to release after that. If there's nothing, then we'll probably just cut the episode there. Um, or well, actually, we'll probably do one more at the end just to kind of throw out and send off this series because I've actually really enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching it as well. Like the, the type of players we've managed to accrue over the series, obviously going through the Euros and a bit of progression and, uh, you know, upgrading and having their own kind of like 
Euro mode was really cool. And then obviously just going into more of the England Road to Glory aspect of it, I think has been really cool as well. And I don't, I mean, we've got a 94 rated team. 94 rated team. Obviously, you know, like, it's just, it's just mental. Absolutely mental. Um, so I think you've got a big, you know, you've got to, you've got to have big props for EA for the type of players they've released. A lot of the English uh, special cards, especially with Smithrow and Enketia, like just made the series so much better and more enjoyable for me. Because if I if I had to use fucking Harry Kane for this length, I probably would have just ended it. You know, I probably would have just ended it. Uh, I mean, my life, not the series, of course. But almost 40 assists. He's got 39 assists, 44 goals, 34 games. Obviously, all been rivals. Not used this card at all in squad battles. Um, we've got Jesse Lingard in his first three games. I've got three goals and one assist. He's actually very, very good as a cam. He's very good as basically like a winger kind of cam um, and also really good at passing. So that's a bit of a bonus. But also, if you do what I do and put into a four, four triple two, he's so good as a striker as well. So, so good. Like, you know, obviously a chemistry style. If I had been a bit more intelligent, would have been, made him even better. But he just didn't miss. Smith Rowe as well. Um, he doesn't often score, but he's got 18 assists, 9 goals, 26 games played. So that's what, 27 and 26, so not terrible. And um, uh, Foden got 4 goals, 4 assists in 6 games. I don't know, I actually really like this card as well. I just, he's just, I don't know, just not my type of player, which is really weird to say because he's so similar to Smith Rowe, but I don't know, maybe maybe I'm played with him enough. Um, and obviously, Calvin Phillips, Decky Rice. Uh, how many did he score? He scored six goals and got ten assists. He's he's so good as well. And then um, Calvin Phillips equally as good. Like mental. Mental team. But how much is Tavernier? So Tavernier's actually got three goals and three assists in the entire series. Mental. Chilwell scored 11. Seven. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy good. It's a real shame that we didn't get a five-star, five-star um, Chilwell and a five-star, five-star Grealish. You know. That'd have been next level, next level. But look at that. I mean, look at that record as well. 54 assists, 43 goals and 61 games. Crazy. But either way, hopefully you have enjoyed the series so far. Of course, if you have, please do drop this video a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. Um, if you haven't already and you do enjoy the content around here, please do consider subscribing. I know the video is a bit infrequent, um, but we are trying to push out, you know, the best kind of videos we can. So uh, if you do enjoy them, do subscribe to the channel and become part of the exclusive family um, but with that said i do hope you enjoyed as always thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time